fucking hell we Mate, did it right win back in the game <laughs> where are we Bro, I don't know. <laughs> We're in your gaff. In I love gaff. it, mate. I feel like I could get to sleep in there. It's so cosy. You know what? It is nice. We've got this little thing that we that we do here, that we like to do here. And it's you go on YouTube and you type in... No, I don't even know what you type in, you know. But just do like jazz <laughs> music. Great explanation. Jazz music with like nice background. It sounded it? like elevator music. Elevator music. And it's got different like themes. So you'll have like... Uh, there's loads of Christmas ones at the moment, but it'll be like a really nice log cabin with like, and it's snowing. Yeah, and it's just yeah. a nice backdrop, yeah. nice background music. So when you're doing your chores in the house and whatever, it just looks It lovely. is sick. It is I sick. I really like it. How you been this week, mate? Yeah, I'm good, man. So obviously the reason that, um, if you haven't noticed, we missed the podcast last week. Yeah. Um, two reasons. One, I was kind of ill. Still sound a little bit fluid, but I'm good. And the big reason... Was you're now a dad. I'm now a dad. So Winter's congratulations. Here. I know it's a bit mad. It is a bit mad. It's um to be fair, and I'll be completely honest. Not, I don't feel like it's like anything majorly has changed right now. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I know you're looking at me like just wait, but at the moment, yeah, she just sleeps a lot. It's like yeah, I'm pretty good at changing nappies now. <laughs> I <laughs> never thought you'd say that. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, no, but bro, you, 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 can't, you kind of just like... It's fine. The first two days, yeah, like or even like the first like week, you are kind of... I mean, you even texted me and told me about it. Yeah. Everyone goes through the same. And they're checking them every two seconds if they're breathing, if they're right. alive. Right. Like, it's just so scary. Because yeah. you like hear about all these horror stories and that like, and you're just so... Now you've brought this little person into the world, you're just so protective over it already. It's insane. It is crazy and she's changed so much already like physically yeah like already like we've, we've had our last um last midwife uh, appointment and she's like heavier now she's yeah everything's starting good. to come into motion it's yeah. just mad. and she's starting to look because i feel like babies i don't really I, I don't care what anyone says yeah <laughs> babies yeah they all look the same bro <laughs> i knew that was coming they, i don't even care the but dirt. now even like after a few days you start to like see oh she looks a little bit like Poppy or a little bit like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who do you think she looks like? Poppy See, I, I hate this question because Abel looked like Liv. Yeah. And I, like, that's fine. It don't yeah. bother me. But you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate fucking it. fuming. <laughs> nah, but you know, like when everyone would just say, like, oh, um, it looks like Liv. Don't look like you. I'm like, all right, calm yourself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Really used to fucking piss me off. Really? Yeah, yeah, bad. Mate, I don't mind. Like, he looks like Liv or whatever. Yeah. But now he's starting to look like me. And, like, all his family said he looks like me and that. But I think he looks like Liv from here upwards. Because he's got Liv's eyes. Then me, he's got my nose and mouth. Really? That's what it is, yeah. Brother, he's got... I thought... Maybe actual eyes live, but he's got your eye shape. So you think, see, you don't you think it's weird how people just see people like, like this, differently? Like this bit of your eye, like the, this bit here of your eye is able. That is you right, reckon? It's you. It's able, it's you. I think, anyway. Oh, I'll take that all day. Yeah, and when he laughs as well. He's like, ha, ha, ha. What are you saying? What are you What the fuck? That's, what, he's, that's what he laughs like, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, grow up. But um, yeah, you actually said something well funny, and me and Liv was crying in the car. So it's funny you say this, because... You don't know what it is. He didn't even tell me what made him laugh. And he, and he, we saw each other, obviously we met earlier and you're like, mate, you said something hilarious. And I actually have no idea what this is. So, okay, so take it away. I think it was like night two, right? Of you having like winter back at home. Yeah. Um, and she slept better than the first night, yeah. <laughs> and then you text, and then I was in the car with Liv and you said, oh yeah, I think we've got in a bit of a routine. <laughs> and I was like, what, after a day? I was like, you have got no clue. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've got in a routine. Oh, th this is so fucking easy. <laughs> fucking easy. Bruv, it felt like, honestly, <coughs> I'll be honest, she's been home seven days now and two, two of the seven days have been like bad, like real bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First day, bruv, first day back was mad. It's a new setting and she just Mate. come out of a person. Yeah. And, you know, and she's like into the, of a person. she's just like, <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Hello. I'm out <laughs> so literally, she obviously, yeah, she's she's come out. She's come to this random apartment, yeah. Yeah, it's mad. And like, just gets put in a cot, and it's like, right, you're, this is you now. Yeah. So yeah. it's, I can imagine it was mad for her, but it was like double taking myself, mate. So I'd, she'd cry, and I'd be like, maybe she needs a nappy changed. Go to change a nappy. Realize that she hasn't, she doesn't need a nappy change. Put the nappy back on. Go to feed her. Shits herself. 
<laughs> Do you know what? Sound. Funny? As right. you as you're talking, then I was just thinking to myself, like I was just looking at you, thinking, like you wasn't even thinking about being a dad or whatever, nah. and then now look at you, like yeah. it's mad, isn't it? It wasn't even on my. No, but it's like it's it's an amazing thing. It changes you instantly as a person. Yeah. I feel like it's that fight or flight kind of thing. You know what, bruv? It's funny you say this, and this is going to be. I don't want this to be a, a like a, a like a sad deep uh, poddy today, yeah. but. Uh, I said this to Pops as well. Re- uh, when I got home, it was weird. I went to the, I went to the gym to do a little workout after being in hospital for a week or whatever. So it was like kind of I'd come out of that bubble mm. a little bit. Um, and also, I had the same feeling I'm about to tell you. When I was uh, I just literally just had a bath and just chilled in the bath. I'm just like watching YouTube, whatever. I had this weird feeling of uh, it's like a nostalgic feeling where it's not sad, but it's not. A nice feeling as well, and I almost fell. I said to Poppy, I think I broke it, that broken it down to the fact that I think I kind of felt a little bit like sad that my solo life is now gone. It was weird, but it's not a bad feeling. It's not a bad thing, yeah. And it's kind of like I went to the gym and I was like, oh, I felt like I'm oh, just just me again. Yeah, weird because obviously your whole attention is now on looking after someone else. You come away and you're like, oh fuck. I, it's just it's just my me. normal life again. For just for a split second, I, I, yeah, I'm going to do something on my own. Do you know what? Yeah, I mean, I think every kind of couple and it's a bit like sad. goes through this. Yeah, because like you're protect, you kind of in a way deleting the person that you was before. Hundred. And people can say that no, you can still be the same person in that. You can, right? But you can, it's like toned down a lot more so it's kind of like oh you can't just go to the gym when you want to go to the gym no. you can't just go out for like go and see your mates when you're going to see your mates you can't go for a shit without fucking speaking to Poppy or me yeah. speaking to Liv and yeah. being like you okay with Abel well obviously it's different now yeah Um, but yeah your life just completely changes like yeah. but the thing is it's a blessing because yeah. do you know when like Obviously, winter will be crying and that, and you'll be tired. Yeah. You'll be like, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Man. And then you get in there. I and feel you lo- bad when No, I feel but like you that. look at it. Yeah, exactly. But you look at a little face. But, but, no, but it's natural. It's, yeah. normal to, it's normal to feel like that, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah. But when you see a little face look up at you and kind of smile and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you'll just be like, mate, this is just all worth it. Yeah, it is. It is mad. It is the best, man. Yeah. But, oh my um, God, it's raining outside. Bro, I've just had a look I absolutely yeah. love it. Guys, you won't be able to see this yet, but it's. It's 11 a.m. It looks yeah. like it's just hit 9 p.m. I outside. feel like, you know, what's, what's the place where the, it's like uh, night time for like Iceland. ages? Is it Iceland? Or Finland or something yeah, like that. It's mad. Yeah. Mad. I really want to go. I really want to go to Lapland. We're but, going next year. What? Yeah, yeah. me, Liv and Abel, yeah. I thought you said me then. I got excited. Well, we could kind of sort that if you <laughs> yeah. wanted to go. Well, I would love... We'd be looking yeah. at it. It's a little town called R- Riv... Yeah, yeah, it's mad. Liv was so weird, bro. Liv was looking at it in the car yesterday. Yeah, it's fucking so weird. Yeah. Mate, We're it, connected, yeah. bro. <laughs> 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 11, 11. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> Is it? Podcast. Yeah, almost. <laughs> okay. But it's not. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Fatherhood's going well so far, so thanks for asking, brother. Good, man. I'm happy. I, well. knew you, I knew you'd smash it, man. Like yeah. I said, you just grow into the person that you're going to yeah, be. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. kind of, yeah, like baby, like nappy changing, that's good, man. It's all good. Um, <laughs> nappy changing, that's all good, good, man. 10 out of 10, <laughs> I love it. Big, big moves for you as well this week. So we're moving house. It's mad. I know. So yeah, we didn't want to say it online at first just because like we didn't want to tempt fate and yeah. We didn't want our house not to sell, it and then it kind of it all, yeah. I mean, it was on the on market for like two weeks, and it was gone. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, the house is beautiful. Do you know what I mean? Liv smashed it, like decorating it and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, like we've got a rent somewhere for six months while the new house is being built. So we're actually we're effectively, if people don't know, we're building our own house, which That's is like amazing. Sick. So we get to design everything. Oh, no, it is sick. Guys, when when it's all done, the podcast room is going to be a mazza. Oh yeah, so basically, like, like it, we have to set it up in the games room every time at my house now. Now I'm going to have like my production, my DJ stuff, gaming, yeah, like and then podcasting in the corner. So I'm yeah. having my whole like a whole bedroom. Yeah, but I'm going to soundproof it. It looks like the roof, like when you showed me it. It looks like the yeah. roof, like way so it's, it's all... into the roof a little bit. Yeah, but it's just the way the house is built, like, but yeah. it's it's sick. But um, but yeah, the house that we're moving into. Um, where it looks like some of the thing out of Hogwarts, Harry Potter, it's mad. like some of the rooms I can't stand up in, it's but mad. it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. It's something that I've, it's like 
a journey that me and Liv have wanted to do for ages. So when we get to like, I don't know, cottages for like a weekend away, me and Liv or whatever, I always think to myself, I'd love to live in a place like this. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I just feel like that change. Yeah. But it, the house is big, like, because basically we didn't know whether, I don't want to bore people, we didn't know whether to like move our stuff into like a smaller house yeah, and then yeah, get yeah. storage yeah, yeah. place or just get a big house and rent that for six months and then like use the rooms up. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing that. Um, but yeah, like a lot of people have said online, like, why, why are you leaving that house for? Why are you doing this? And it comes back to like being a parent again. Yeah. Like when we bought that house, it was kind of just like, like fun pad. Yeah, it was a fun pad. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But it, it, in our head, it was like, yeah, we could raise kids here, it'd be amazing because yeah. the people before raised kids. But like being there now, now Abel's getting older. There's no path, yeah. So you got to like w- like drive somewhere, everywhere. So you yeah. got to load the car up with yeah. all Abel's yeah. stuff. When Abel gets older, and if we have another kid, the car just walk to school on their no, own. Their car go, knock on yeah. for their pals. Like they got. We went trick or treating the other day, and we actually drive into the town to then go. It's just not the right yeah. thing. And we said, I wish we could pick the house up and just move it. Yeah. Obviously, you can't. So. No, 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 no. Um. But yeah, it's uh, it's an exciting time, man. Yeah. I'm buzzing it's through. nice as well. The house is located right in town, but it's like a nice. It's still, you still got your area. Yeah, it's and all like, my friends are there as well. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. you just need to move there now. I know, I need to. We've been looking, man. We've been yeah. looking. I mean, that'd be amazing. This if is you nice. Did. This is nice, but I think it's ready for a change. A change of like environment as well. I've been living around it for time. But yeah. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to touch a little bit on your, because I've seen, and you didn't tell me about this, but you have revamped your fitness page. Okay, yeah. Should we go into that a little bit? Yeah, so obviously when, um, when obviously when Joel passed, I changed my training up the night. So I, obviously I've always been training like traditional kind of bodybuilding. Um, and then I, like the gym that I go to now is more like functional fitness. Like it's still like bodybuilding, but it's kind of combined like a hybrid of the two. And obviously running and mm. everything else that like comes with it. I've changed my whole app up and my training. Yeah. So I'm a new app, I'm revamping it all, the whole aesthetic, the whole look. But now you're going to have like two options. So you can either pick traditional bodybuilding, which will be like a push-pull legs, yeah, like push-pull yeah. legs, and then yeah. like, you'd, like your old diet personalized to you. Or you can pick like the hybrid kind of training where it's kind of like a mixture of like bodybuilding with functional fitness, running and endurance work, all yeah. of it combined. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people have been asking me to have that on the app and it hasn't. Yeah, yeah. So I've just read all the plans and it's going to be going forward pretty soon. Yeah, so I'm yeah. buzzing about it, man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's when I'll need you to film all the stuff for oh, it. Oh, sick. Yeah. Because you've been doing loads of that with that High Rocks. Yeah. High Rocks stuff as well. Yeah. Well, I was supposed to be doing the High Rocks. Um, 25th of november and yeah i feel i was do, doing like some interval running and i think i've tore my other acl in my good knee it's just not it's just not what you're standard yeah. <laughs> bro one bites the dust. yeah do you know what it is though yeah it's kind of just like do you know when i first started running getting back into it yeah obviously i was training for like a long distance race like, yeah, like yeah. half marathon marathon 24 hour run yeah. and i built my runs up really gradual and slow mm. and then obviously I stopped running for like a better month um, I, 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 I was just really busy doing you other stuff you say that you did like a, you started running for like a month and then you just did a half marathon no it, I was, it was for a, it was a good few months before oh, I did it? that yeah oh, okay. but then after okay. that I, I felt a little bit sore so I had a better month off Yeah. and then I was training for High Rocks and High Rocks has got like an 8 basically you run 8 kilometers. And then in bet- every like 1K, there's a station in between. So it might be a skier, it yeah. might be a rowing machine, yeah, like yeah. the farmer's walk. Yeah. Um, but basically it's mostly running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously when I was a kid, I was always fast. Mm. And then now I'm 220 pounds. That's a lot of weight to be running at the speed. I was running, I was running like intervals at like three minutes, 50, three minutes, 45 yeah, per yeah, kilometer. Yeah. And then it was pissing down the rain and there was a, puddle which was a puddle yeah rolled my ankle and i fucking thought i broke my ankle but i just thought i've popped my ankle so many times yeah. i just run it off yeah, yeah, yeah. and then i woke up the next day and my knee was like blew up so i think it was like secondary injury from that injury um so yeah i'm not gonna be able to do it now that's annoying that yeah annoying. it's just it's just one of them i thought things, you were getting man. your um cause, i mean you got that place in town where you where you have your Knee. Yeah, but like I've got to go for a scan this week to see exactly what I've done. To be honest, I don't think I've tore it. I think maybe I've got a slight 
I don't think it's bad. Yeah. I think maybe there's like a slight little tear yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. But you don't want to do the high rocks just in case. No, I, bro. Busted, I'm not bro. pushing it. Like, because I, I ain't going to lie, the past week, like, oh, people ask me this question, how do you stay motivated? Obviously, I always say stick to discipline. But my discipline went out the window. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because I was ill and then I got injured and then I was just kind of like, fuck it all, man. Yeah, I can't be yeah. asked. Yeah. Well, and you then mentioned I felt, that on your last pod. Mm, on, on the last pod, you mentioned how it made, it, like, it affected your mood. And yeah. Everything. And then I felt like so different. Like, I just felt like, fuck it. I can't be asked. I've got no pump. I look, I look skinny. I feel shit. I don't want to do it. I just, I just like, all from that, just being in my head mentally. Yeah. And then I thought, do you know what? High Rocks isn't going anywhere. I can compete another time. And then I'll just get this injury back and I'll build back up slowly instead yeah. of trying to push it and just yeah. be fast every, as fast as I can yeah, every time. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Someone's calling me. Sorry. <laughs> In the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> get me a water, bro. Yeah, you. man. Carry on. Oh, fuck. Are you all right, mate? We're going to keep this bit in the pod. <laughs> Show stupid that you really are. Oh, is no. this hot water? Take my snow. Bro, this is hot water, isn't it? It's not. I'll try it. <laughs> oh. Fuck off. Is it from the tap? No, it is from the tap. I know it's from the tap. I pulled it. Oh my God, mate. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Oi, you've got the maddest thing. Hey, Ralph. You've got the maddest thing. That's my dog, by the way. You've got the maddest thing in your kitchen where you- The can... hot water tap? Bruv. I... Unbelievable. Man, I don't even know how to use it. Yeah, you just like tap it once, yeah. twist. There's like a safety thing for kids. Tap That's it. what you can't do. Tap it, twist, and then it goes- <laughs> Mad, bruv. <laughs> Instant cuppers. <laughs> Mate, it's the best. It's mad. Right, so there's actually something. My phone's dead. I'll say. It's actually something. I think you need to mirror it to the TV. Right, let's mirror it. Yeah, so basically, this popped up on uh, my real thing the other day. I don't know why it's come up on my Explore page because this is something I do not want to see. Right. Just play. Okay. Just press play. And this this is my five-hour morning routine. Alarm goes off at 4 a.m. I've got two seconds to get out of bed, and I start listening to 20 minutes of an inspiring book on double speed. Meanwhile, I'm getting ready, I'm getting speed. to the gym, and I'm going to do 40 minutes of cardio. So as a bodybuilder, I mostly do elliptical or incline walking, and that's kind of boring for me, so I layer it with my meditation. Our meditation is practicing the four creation emotions, gratitude to produce the dopamine, happiness for serotonin, oxytocin for love, and then peace. And then shit, we're going to step into our creation room, and we're going to proactively begin focusing on the results that we're creating in our life that haven't manifested yet. Then we shift into two hours of very aggressive lifting. After two hours of lifting together and with our friends, my wife and I will spend an hour together working on our relationship. Then we'll spend an hour with our kids and we focus on life lessons over breakfast. And breakfast is that non-negotiable with me and my kids because that's the one meal we do together every day. That brings me from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. and now I'm ready to start the day. I feel great. I'm ready to go. This is my... Shut your fucking mouth. What? Mate, I'll watch this year. It infuriates me. He's just added more hours in the day, isn't he? How Bro, f- exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Do you know what really pisses me off about people like this, right? I don't want to be horrible. Yeah, do your thing. Blah, 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 right? Like, no one does that. He probably doesn't even do that himself. He's, He's just doing ass. it for clout. And I'm sick of seeing it like, yeah. oh, yeah, I'll do this at like 4 a.m. Yeah. Mate, when I get up at 4 a.m., yeah, and I've got up with Abel because Abel's got me up, the last thing I want to do is like get live up and then get to the gym and then do this. I want to make a cup of tea and then go back to fucking bed. That is mad. I, I Obviously, that whole hustle culture thing, right? Ugh. But that is over the top. That's over the top, that bro. I can't so deal with it. Over the top. No, I don't. I, he's definitely not doing that. He's right, 100% he's not doing he's that. He's definitely But these people, like, like the fact, I mean, to be honest, I was reading through the comment share and there was like, I've never wanted to punch someone in the face so much. That was one of the Mate, comments. This guy smells, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. That is just mad. <coughs> Oh, here we go. Of course he's a real estate agent. Oh, is that what he does? Just fucking flips houses and shit. Do you know what it he's is? He's just a salesman. Do you know what? No, no, that'd be He's yeah, a sleazy, yeah. like, what do they call it? Snake oil sales, salesman. Yeah. Do you, do you know, know what I mean? Do you know what it is, right? He talks. I hate it when they do this, right? They go like this. They're like, all you need to do, all you need to do <laughs> is buy a five-bedroom house. <laughs> and then... You, you rent it out to someone and then you buy another one. <laughs> yeah, like yeah sound, easy. bruv. All right, yeah. Like it's easy. Like it's easy. Like, that's just... No, but the thing that really pisses me off, yeah, like, say if he... And he defo doesn't do it all the time, but say if he does do that every single day, 
right? I would not want to be in a family like that if I was one of their kids. The, oh, you have a breakfast time for an hour talking about yeah. your fucking feelings and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, but like with things like that, yeah, I just feel like oh, it just infuriates me because you're just doing it for clout. You don't even believe in what you're no, saying. No. And like, I see, I mean, I'm probably going to get a bit shit for this, but you see a lot of these pages and they're like, oh yeah, I'll just read a book for 20 minutes in the morning about meditation and that. And that's fine if that's what you do. But some people just do it and they'll probably throw the book away and never fucking post about it again. Yeah. And never read the book. Do you know what? If you do it, then fair play, you do it. Yeah. But I think, I feel like it just become a trend and everyone just fucking does it like. I think I, there was a point when oh god you read books didn't you yeah i did no, no i actually did I actually if you did. know but it's fine i'm not no, saying don't one, read books no 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 it was one it was one book that i read and i can't even remember what it was called but it was something like wake up at, great book yeah no, i'm real book <laughs> it was like something like wake up at 5 a.m it was like 5 a.m club type thing right? yeah, yeah yeah and i actually did it for <laughs> for a bit and it was like telling you like when you wake up, you just like neck a pint of water. Which I do a lot. That's good. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Good. No, no, which is fine. But like, I'd neck it and then I'd sit down and I'd be like, I'm still bare tired. Bro. Yeah. No, but and this... then I would like, and then what I'd do is I'd wake up at five and then I'd I'd sit up and then I'd be a bit like, I'm just fucking sat here. Yeah, dude. When you but I'm not going to crack on with work at fucking half five in the morning. I'm fucked. Yeah. I'm knackered. Like, and I was just a little bit like, I, some... I think I, I remember you telling me about this. Yeah, it's a bit mad. Like, and I, I've had this, I had this realization that if I'm gonna carry on following this book, yeah, I'm actually not gonna get anywhere. Like, I need yeah. because I wasn't working at my optimal level. Mm. I was fucking shagged by the time it hit one p.m. I didn't yeah. want to do any work. That's yeah. like, and everyone's body clock's different, right? So I've just, I feel like you should not rely on all these like guru books and that. I'm not being funny. If they wanted you to know the secret recipe, yeah, they, just give they it, wouldn't yeah. be selling you a book. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, no, but <clears throat> the thing is, yeah, there's what's that book, yeah, when it's like The Art of Not Giving a Fuck and the yeah, term, that's, yeah. Liv, Liv read that before and she said it was unbelievable. Um, reading like, I used to read by the time I think. Yeah. So there was a Netflix thing, I watched it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've just made myself sound well stupid there, but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, but like, I, I do get some of the stuff that they're saying and yeah. I agree with most of, of it. Do you know what I mean? Of course. But I don't, I'm not saying read, don't read these books about meditation and all stuff like that. But I just feel like a lot of people do it just because it's a fad of doing it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And I, I'm sick of, I like, I, I'm sick of it coming up on my explore page. Like, they'll be the same kind of looking geezer, right? <laughs> that's just do, the, the same video. Yeah. I get up, make a coffee, yeah. blah, 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 yeah. and then I read this book for twenty minutes. Blah, blah, blah. It's just like, yeah. bro, like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's not, it's not obtainable. Yeah, it's not obtainable. Do you know what would be quite funny? Doing a YouTube video where you were like, I followed this guy's regime, and I want to tell you how crap it is. That could be, a, that could be That's a good way to, that could be a good thing to do. You could do no, but the stuff. thing is, yeah, like people don't take into consideration like that geezer he says, do this, do that. Yeah, he's got kids or whatever. It doesn't work like that for everyone. Nah. I'm going to get up at R4 every morning when Abel gets up. Yeah. yeah. Do you think I'm just sorting out my stuff, manifesting, doing all my shit? No, I'm changing his arse. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Making myself a cup of tea and watching the fucking Grinch or yeah. fucking yeah. Uh, Paddington yeah. Bear. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, Which yeah, is yeah. top Donny, by the way. Yeah, I do love Donny. Paddington. I know yeah. it word for word now. Yeah, but yeah, like like that's life at the end of the day. Yeah. And they're, they're, like, they're showing you this thing that's like not everyone can do. And I think no. that's why so many people get triggered about it. Because it's fucking bullshit like. Yeah. I think people get triggered with what you just said, crossed with the fact that they're so blasé about the fact that they're already millionaires and they're like, you just buy five houses. Exactly. Like, yeah, no. Like, obviously not. Yeah. Like, obviously not. There's loads of them though. Like, I've seen, I haven't seen that guy before. Yeah. But he's up there. He's do, up there. Do you with... know what? Do you know what as well? I think it's kind of hard. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but do you know when you can't physically do something yourself? Like, he's telling me to do that. And it's annoying that I can't do it. And I'm like, who the fuck are you to tell me this? Yeah. It's like, do you know, it's a little bit of a tangent, but it connects a little bit. Do you know that Woot watch, what I had? Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, like they are they are class and people use them, they are. But when I first had Abel, obviously the sleep pattern and everything was fucked, yeah. yeah. My mate Chris does and Joey was using them and they love them off, yeah. They're yeah. probably just going to be like, yo, what the fuck, like, you owe it to me now. But like them <laughs> yeah, two, they, loved it, they? They, they loved it, yeah. But also, they haven't got a kid and they haven't got family. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously yeah. they've got family, whatever, but like a kid to get up. Yeah. So when I was like, 
training hard, doing the runs, doing like workouts and stuff. And then this fucking stupid wristband was telling me, right? Oh, you had enough sleep. You recover is shit. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Yeah. I've got a child that oh, I've got to sleep yeah, for. Yeah, no worries. I'll let, so, Nate, I'll let Abel know. Yeah, but like in myself, I felt fine. I felt great. I felt unbelievable. I was yeah. getting used to like my sleep pattern changing. Yeah. And then this watch was telling me, no, like you need more sleep. You need more recovery. Yeah. They don't know how I feel. Nah. Do you know what I mean? Nah. And it really fucking pissed me off. And I think it kind of like reverts back to the thing of like, that is, sometimes it's not like attainable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To yeah. like stick through that lifestyle. Yeah. What's your, what's your, uh, I guess prof- professional opinion because obviously you are a sports sportsman mm. I and mean, you've been doing it for years, right? What is your professional opinion, would you say, on these tech fitness um, <sighs> stuff that comes in like the Apple Watch, like the Fitbit and stuff? Like, do you feel... Because I, I obviously, I, I'm not liking, I know you're not, but I feel like there's some people that like worship... The, the digits that this watch has yeah. predicted for that person yeah. and they're like no I've got to carry on I need to get this number below even though they might be exceeding yeah. what the watch tells them what's your opinion on this okay on this? so I think the watches are good within reason yeah are they as accurate as what they say absolutely not so do you know if you had a watch on right add like a Garmin on add a whoop I had an Apple Watch, right? And then you was on the fucking ski machine yeah. and you was doing that for like five minutes. I guarantee you, yeah, all three of them, right, would say you burnt different amount of calories. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Like, how is it judgy? Like, yeah. when you're on the machines, it does it. It can't tell. Because yeah. everyone's body is completely different. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. so like, I'd probably burn more calories than fucking someone else would. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. vice versa. So if, vice me versa. You, if me and you didn't It'd be completely one, different, like. It'd different be com- weight, Yeah, completely different, weight, like. Yeah. You can't judge it, like. Obviously, it takes into the account of it all. Sure. But it's not as accurate as what people think they are. No. Um, and I'm not slating them, like, because I would love, I did that love my whoop until obviously the sleep thing pissed me off. Yeah. Um, because it's good to track it, but I feel like people get too obsessed with them yeah. because it's just like, oh, I can't need to sleep more. I need to do this. Oh, yeah. I need to do that. Take like, over your life. Takes over your life. Like, what's wrong with feeling okay within yourself? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, what's wrong with just feeling it naturally than a little piece of like tech Mate, telling I'd, you I to? I completely agree. Like, I was saying to Poppy the other day, I was saying I never thought I'd get to the point where four hours of sleep is optimal. Exactly. That's unreal. Exactly. She slept for four hours. That's unreal. Yeah. Like, like your body clock completely changes, like, and yeah. I don't care what anyone says, a watch cartel you that like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A watch cartel. Oh, can't tell yeah. you. Oh, that's my accent. Yeah, no, the no. watch cartel. The watch cartel. The watch can't tell. Yeah, literally. That's my accent there. Mate, Liv said a few words like me the other day. Mate, Liv is rummy now yeah she was i mean i'm from walls but yeah um <laughs> bit different uh, <laughs> got wall too. yeah 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 come on um yes yeah, so i live was doing some stories and that yeah and i was just like someone said like, you sound proper like like alex and i listened to the stories back and i was like mate she's picking up my accent yeah, yeah. I, I she had the moment i met her little really yeah like twangs yeah 100%. i have twangs of hers though do you know when i'm drunk yeah and i send a voice note <laughs> I wake up in the morning, listen to it. I'm like, oh my god! Really? It sounds like I'm putting on an Essex voice. I it's, don't. I don't. I oh, I delete that. them straight away. I haven't heard it. Yeah, it's weird. Mate, you need to get drunk. I need to really say that. I mean, sold. Do you know what? I was actually, I forgot, man. I was going to bring two whiskeys. I got a bottle of whiskey. I just oh, thought we could have had like a little toast for you becoming a dad. We'll do it I just completely time. forgot. Yeah, we'll do we'll it next, do it next time, one. man. Yeah, so we're not in the. Uh, the standard abode. Yeah. <laughs> no, but mate, this is sick. Yeah. I think this will be good. It's nice. It's a nice little setup. But uh. Yeah, you're, um, what was I going to say? What were we talking about? Accents. <laughs> you had a brain fart there. <laughs> great pod. Yeah. You've got great communication yeah. skills. The Loki series. Uh, Have you watched it? No. Bro, he's carrying the MCU. Yeah, because that, apparently that new Marvel movie is Pony. Yeah, well, I mean, it was always going to be. Have you seen it? No, but I've uh, seen the reviews. I mean, I will watch it yeah. because, to be honest, I think they're all good actresses. Yeah. But I just think the way that they write the films now, it, there's more of like, I don't know, like kind of like a political agenda behind what the way they write it. Mate, that's every movie nowadays. No, but I'm on a bit with the with like the Marvel and stuff. Like to me, like just make the characters fun and don't talk about political stuff and that. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, no, no I don't. What do you mean? So do you know with like. Like, 
obviously they get like a women and that superheroes and that, which is like amazing. Like, yeah, there's there should be women superheroes, but like some of the writers, like the kind of did you see ever see the the Batgirl thing that never got released because it got slated, and it had that Ruby Rose in. No. So Batgirl. Yeah, Batgirl. It got it was on YouTube and it was the most one of the most disliked videos on YouTube. Really? Yeah. What, because of how crap it was. No, because well, what it basically I was gonna watch it and then like the way that they portrayed it was kind of like it was women against men. So it was oh, like right. instead of it being like right. feminine, fe- like for yeah, fe- yeah, the good yeah. of women, it was more like slating men. Oh, so, yeah. Nice. So it's kind of like oh, I'll take the reins over as Bat because Batman's gone. Okay. I'll take the reins over now because women can do it better than men and that. And that was the whole concept. Was it really? Yeah, and it got slated like. Do you well, know what I mean? Fair. They need to, it's, a, it's a superhero film. Like, it's yeah. for kids and like yeah. teens, well, teens and adults, really. <laughs> but like, make it to enjoy it. Yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Stop making everything serious and all these hidden little things and, and yeah, that. Like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Loki, yeah, he fucking saved it, man. Really? It's so good. Yeah. I the ha- ending, right? You just need to watch it. It's unbelievable. So d- is this second season? Uh, yes, yeah, season so two. So I haven't even watched the, the first season. Oh, mate, you need to watch it. Yeah, because I've He's the best I, character. I've watched all of the Marvel um, movies and the Avengers. And do you know what? Like, it's just, I like them. But I just. Be I, very careful. Huh? Be very careful. Yeah, I know. I know you're a big, big fan. <laughs> but, like, with the, I feel like with the Marvel, this is going to sound. Especially from like what I do for a job, this is going to sound crazy, yeah. But it's like. I don't like movies that are like really like Hollywood. Mm. Like just too. Just, you like grungy, dark I'd films. Like, yeah, just nice story based. Mm. Like, and I know it is story based and there's obviously Marvel now, but it's just all a bit it's like. It's story based, but it's exciting. It's so like, it's like so good. Like in the way that it's like captured in that. It's yeah. like, you don't I don't know. Like I just it. feel like it's just You well just don't LA. like Marvel. No, I don't. No, I don't. Not. But well, what are you? Spider- what are you trying to say? <laughs> you don't know what you're no, trying to I say because like you're wrong. No, because I like the movie. I don't care about your opinion right now. You're wrong. I'll be. Compl- <laughs> I, I, I'll be completely honest. I don't like Captain America movies. I just never have. Oh yeah. See, just, I, I mean, the, the first, never, he's a bit of a boring character. Like just he gets never better. Vibed. Yeah. But just, he's a boring just, character. Yeah, I just never. Vibed. I think my favorite movies out of the the individuals was um, oh, Thor. Iron Man? Mm, nah, not Iron Man. Spider Man? Probably Spider Man, but I grew up Iron with Man's Spider Man. Da- Iron Man's the one. Yeah, Iron Man is good. Yeah, Spider Man's the best. He's my favourite. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, well, I grew up one, two, and three, the originals. With yeah, yeah, with, uh, with Toby, Toby, Toby Maguire. Like, I love those when I was I young. can't wait till Abel gets into it. Yeah. But no, going back to it, with the whole being well overproduced, I love the old Spider Mans because they weren't. Super yeah. Well, it wasn't this kind of like big cinematic universe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Where exactly. they're all connected. That's and, it. That's do you know it. what I mean? It was kind of just like a standalone film. Yeah. But um, I feel like, like Loki's unbelievable. It's really dark. Really? Like, yeah. Not really, really dark, but it's quite dark. I need to watch it. It's good. I've man. heard like the finale was he just his whole character building was just top. Just insane. Yeah, just so. That's good, mad man. that they carried Loki as character. Yeah. And like done like a whole. He whole completely thing. changed. Like really? he's good now. I need to watch it. I will watch it. But going back to what you said about like how the pol- political thing, yeah. Have you noticed like all movies are like it now? I think like, it's the Snow White, the Snow White one. There's that massive yeah. controversy with the woman, with the girl. She got sacked. She got sacked, didn't she? No way. Yeah, she's not Snow White now. You're joking. No, she's not Snow White. Is that a rumor though? No, she's sacked. They got Disney got rid of her. They did it. Yeah, because she was not selling the film at all. No. Yeah. I I heard I saw a rumor that she that they basically cancelled it. Yeah. No. So basically, it's already filmed. They've yeah, they're just gonna throw it away. They'll just scrap it. <laughs> yeah. Well, she was she they, was not selling it. She's like some of the stuff she was saying. Like obviously she, she was basically like just said the original was crap and it's the first yeah, it's the first Disney. Princess I know. Ever. Like and she just I think she like went away from the fact of like she tried to sell a movie in a different way of like recreating Snow White and she's not the damsel in distress and she yeah. could do all these which is fine but like see this is the thing man I don't I don't want to come off as like like with the women kind of thing and that 
Like I don't, you don't want to need to recreate a character. Nah. Right. Create just make ones. a new film and create, create a new, new film. We'll yeah. go watch it. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. don't change it just because of like the time to- the times was back then. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. like I mean it was back in the day and it's like wrong. Like it was always like the woman was the damsel in distress and then the nah, hero but it's comes actually along. Actually not though. No, but that's she fine. She was trying to find love. That's what Snow White's yeah, story yeah, is. Yeah, true. Yeah. And she found love. Yeah. But no, but in like. this there was like oh it, she says in an interview oh I don't even think the prince is going to be in it that much anyway. Yeah. And I'm like, like, why are you being Sound. so... Yeah, like, yeah. it's just weird. It, yeah. And then I think Disney, like, kind of, like, said to her, reel it in, and she never did, and then they just got really? rid of her. Yeah, I'm sure that... I mean, I could be making that up, but I'm definitely not. Yeah, I think yeah. that she is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Disney got done. I don't want to get flagged for any of this shit. You ain't going to get flagged for this. No, talking about Disney and shit. Yeah, but... You're not. <laughs> I don't... Mate, I don't know they're listening we to have 2,000 followers. No, I'm not going to bet them, but, like... <laughs> We'll be you, fine. You, you, like, scans the words you say, don't yeah. you? Yeah, <laughs> we'll be fine. Really? Conspiracy. I'm getting scared. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, you'll see on Twitter, Alex Bowen and Elliot Stevens die. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, there was something cat. about... Obviously, Disney was... I don't know if it was anti-cymatic or whatever, something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they'd done stuff in the past, and then that's why all the stuff that they're doing now with the like, kind of woke stuff, they're including into their films and that to try and, like, win over people. That's why what people are really? saying yeah might we better hide after this book <laughs> we're in trouble. we're on to them we're on to you disney no but yeah i just feel i just feel like i want to go to the cinema and watch something that takes me away from like what happens in the real world do you yeah. know what i mean that's yeah. that's why you go and watch a film to yeah. like it's that escapism of it like yeah. like obviously if you want to go watch like a realistic film then you choose to mm-hmm. but when you're watching like superhero films and they put like stuff in there that's like political views and that kind of stuff it's I'm just like mad, I don't yeah. want to listen to that like that for kids. yeah I want to yeah exactly especially I want to, those movies yeah I want to enjoy myself like yeah. obviously the kids want to enjoy themselves they don't want to go on about all this shit yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know it's just it's just like a funny one to me I'll be honest bro I haven't been to cinema in a long time yeah I haven't been you know and I do miss it you know I lived I really like the cinema why I don't know. She just just the, just the vibe of it. Yeah, she just says I'd rather just watch it at home, and I'm just like, yeah, I do. Cinema's kind of my thing, so uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do feel like with with cinemas, it's a bit of a. Now I'm a bit older as well. It's a bit of a weird dynamic that random people mm. go and sit in a room together <sighs> and watch their movie together, and then they all leave, and you yeah, now but, you have no idea. Yeah, but movies are. artwork, eh? So you got yeah. to appreciate artwork. It's yeah. like you get to a museum and there's other people there. Yeah, no, that's true. That's the way you got to look at it. Yeah, don't I'm, you don't just look at it like it's oh it's a film it's a normal thing. People these directors and producers this is where I get my movie head on. Yeah, March. they're they're creating artwork like that's yeah. their art form yeah. and that's they're expressing themselves in that way and that's the way you got to look at the films really. What's the worst movie you've ever watched? Go as a movie fanatic. Whoa. <sighs> No one, you, asked, no, you, no one ever asked that question. Worst one. The, the one where you, like, you've literally just been like, not worse as in like, I haven't enjoyed it. Just like, this is actually like proper shit. What would you say? Fuck and, me, that's oh, tough. Oh, I, how about this, right? Because you could be like, worst movie. Oh, I watched some random, like yeah, yeah. low production one. It. How about this? Your worst movie that you've ever seen, but... It's had a load of like money pumped into it, so like a triple A, your worst triple A movie that you've ever watched. Man, I actually don't know what the worst film is I've seen. Really? Yeah, I couldn't tell you. That's a really tough question, you know. Yeah. Maybe we should do the best. <laughs> yeah, the best. All right, go on then. What's your? What was your? Yeah, what's your top three? Top three films. Top three films. And I know it's difficult because they kind of they they're basically all your top your favorite movies for me anyway. But what would you say is your your top three? movies i mean to be honest it's like if you look at it from like an artsy point of view or do you want to look at it as like the what films that i can watch over and over that i've grew up with because that's that's yeah that's got okay, me in cool. the equation so let's just think your top three put your top three in a category and one is your favorite artistically mm-hmm. one is your favorite yeah, let's do that foot. yeah let's do that and then, do that. And then like your favorite and then your your ultimate favorite movie that it's just all of those combined. Okay, so I'd say a film that I watch over and over has probably got to be... This is a weird one because it's not the best film in the world, but it's one of my favourite films I've ever watched. Do you remember Die Hard with Bruce Willis? Yeah. I used to... I grew up watching, like, the 80s action 
movie heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Die Hard one for me was like I used to watch it every single night. Is that the Christmas one? Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to watch it every single night. I knew all the words. That's mad. I used to, I I've lo- got one like that. I loved it. Like you go. Really. So my my favorite movie, like you say, comfort movie that I like used to watch every every single day when I was a kid. Yeah, mm. Titanic. Yeah, Titanic sick. Wow, I mad. used to love. I used to love watching Titanic. Yeah, I used to watch it all the time. Yeah, I, I went through a stage of watching that all the time. I was like four, mad, four, four or five years old watching like Jack and Rose having it off in the back of a car. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. That is mad. It was my favourite, bro. Yeah, I bet that bit was your favourite. Yeah. Right, having <laughs> yeah. a little pump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like anyone around. <laughs> um, right, let's do like ultimate film. Yeah. Ooh. I think it's got to be Joker for me. Okay, new one. Or the latest one. Yeah, I'd say Joker for me. Just because like, I've watched that film at the cinema four times. Yeah, it's unreal. And that was one of the only films that's ever made me feel like kind of uncomfortable, but like, whoa. Like the acting was like, fuck me, this is mad. It's so sick. Because the character, the Joker, that's one of the best villains like yeah. ever created. Yeah, it's so good. And then the way that like they spun the story and portrayed him where he was and how Joaquin played him and how, how it was shot and it was like dark and grungy. And then like, if you notice, yeah, this is mad. Not a lot of people notice this. He's in every scene of the film. There's oh, no Joaquin. Joker, Joaquin, he's in every scene. There's no, you know, there's like another scene of like something going on in another place. Yeah. That to happen. He's in every single scene of the film. Every scene. No way. I have to watch that. I watched it the other day. He don't, he don't. And the music, yeah. The music of, I forgot who, who is that Hans Zimmer, I think. No, yeah. not, no, not, it's not, no, 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 he no, does no. Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'll, I'll find it what it is. Yeah. The music in that year, it builds the tension it's of the film sick. and just the just everything about the film's it's sick. It's sad, man. isn't it? It's sad. It's like, it, it, but it, at the end, there, it becomes. Who the Joker, yeah. like it's just oh man, because he gets validation from yeah. everyone, and he's yeah, like, oh, he finally realizes, yeah, it's just so good, yeah, bro. that's so good, so good. So for me, <laughs> it's a bit different. My, my one of my favorite movies, and it's not not even from an artistic standpoint, but it's like a comfort thing. Toy Story, man, I fucking that was your up. favorite or comfort. Favorite comfort, favorite. Well, it's it's up there with one of my favorite movies. Yeah, Toy Story's done it. I, no, I just love it. I don't know, but like when I when I what was your first one? Titanic. Titanic and Toy Story. Yeah, it's okay. mad weird. But and then, but it's, it's one of these things where when I hear the music, they're you got a friend. F- I feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I feel safe. I feel safe. <laughs> all right, Buzz. <laughs> On oh, Woody. My all-time favourite movie. Um, artistically, storyline, everything. 1917. Oh, is that the war film? The yeah. war film that's filmed. I struggle with them. Which, which is filmed. Yeah, in one scene. One scene. Yeah, that's insane. The whole movie. The whole movie. Hour and a half. But it's not. Oh, the they did it over two days. Di- well, two. no, the way that they filmed it is when it goes from scene to scene, they've um, they've blended the two shots. So they just... To, so it looks like it's a con- film? hour and a half of continuous. So the storyline... I might have to watch that. Right. I never watched it. And the storyline... Does the storyline doesn't you know like you have like war movies where you'll have like the commando talking about something and then there'll be someone mm. else on another battlefield? Nah, it's filmed as if you're following this yeah. these two soldiers' journey and they have to go from one end of uh well what's in World War One they got to go from one um war like war zone and they have to go find their brother to tell their brother. I might watch that. Mate, I struggle with war stuff. Oh mate, so good. I struggle with it. I like them. Save Private Ryan, but I just kind of think they're all very samey. Yeah, but like if I, yeah. I, I, I mean I love that Inglorious Bastards because that's fucking Quentin in it. Ah, uh, Quentin. Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, so that's yeah. sick. That's more of like a what is it? That's just like a an act. It's like a comedy action, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, think. that is good though. It is sick. Yeah, my comfort. See, I struggle with this because like I feel like it has got to be more of a collection of films and not just one or two. So it'd be like Star Wars or Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. It's got ice up there, in it? They're the comfort yeah, films for me because yeah. I could sit and watch them all day. Yeah, day. Star Wars, Harry Potter. Yeah, I mean, that, mate, I'm a nerd, man. I really am. Like, yeah. when it comes to stuff like that, I love all that kind of shit, man. And I, I never want to change from that. Do you know what nah. I mean? I never want to grow up out of it. Yeah, well, with the... Like, po- I love them, man. With the podcast space, we're going to have it kind of all, like, movie-themed. Yeah, exactly. All the, yeah, the, so obviously when we move into the new area, it's all going to be, like, movie-themed yeah. and, like, there's going to be music and out there yeah. and, like, artists yeah, yeah. and stuff. I'm going to do, like, a proper sick wall. We're, we're in a... We're in Harry Potter season. 
What? We're in oh Har- yeah, I know. Yeah, Har- I'm gonna start watching it soon. Yeah, I got. I tried to get Abel to start watching it, man. But after the second one, it gets scary, man. Well, after the first, really. I think the first one is. I, I personally. It's for think, kids, yeah, but mate, Voldemort's in the back of his head. Yeah, but the first one. And it screams in that when Nicholas from Elk read the yeah. book. It's so scary, <laughs> yeah. bro. Do you know what I mean? Well, I, I must, shit myself. I, I must admit, I must admit, Prisoner, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, that one's a bit scary. Yeah, I think the snake one is Chamber of Secrets for a kid. Yeah, yeah, true. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then obviously, it's just funny though. Have you seen the picture where it's like, we can bring this up on screen? Yeah. When there's like. Uh, it's, how, it's, it's what you just said Harry Potter season it's you know like the Warner Brothers sign that comes up every film yeah. they gradually start to get darker and darker every that's film that's sick in it it's so and cool. they start to get cracks in it and, and uh, yeah. cracks in the um, do you know oh, do you know um, oh, I don't know if you know this but do you know Voldemort yeah do you know his robes yeah. his robes have the Horcruxes all in them don't they you don't notice in the films no. I watched like a documentary and it's like the people that designed these like black outfit he wears yeah. there's like actually colours in it but like purples and dark greens and it's like the horcruxes or something no way yeah it's sick like mate, that's a little bit of a Harry I, Potter fact for you I tell you what we should do a fact we should do a movie fact podcast mate I think yeah right this is oh mate I'm getting excited now this is yeah. me all over so obviously for the people watching back home or listening um, this episode today was just more of a catch up between just me and you, chat. just chatting a bit. Do you know what? Yeah. I seen you for like a good week and a half, like yeah. so. Just, yeah. I just wanted to waffle on, just chat yeah. a bit, whatever, man. Really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully next week will be a bit the social media one, so we'll get a bit more serious in that. Yeah. We'll get live on that one. Yeah. Um, I want to do a full mental health one. Yep. We've got a Christmas special coming up, yep. which I think will be fucking funny. We're going to get some guests. Yeah, we're going to get some we're guests on. Sir, yeah, any, um, yeah wanna do, I want to do a music episode. That would be really cool. Like about like, the scene and like yeah. see what it's really like. And, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people... What, if, if, anyone, if anyone who's listening and watching is like, I, I really want to see someone that I haven't seen on a podcast before, let us know. We'll reach out. Yeah, we'll try and reach out and get them. Like, yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. But um, I've enjoyed today. It's been Matt, nice. yeah, it's been decent, it's man. Back. bit different. In in this in it's like yeah, it was, doing it, it in a different it like environment. Yeah, the fir- I'd say like the first half of the podcast, I was like, "This feels different." Yeah, it's it feels it feels different, like, but it's good. Yeah, it's like yeah, we kind of just delved into it. It's good. I mean, I'm still coming back from being ill. Like you, obviously, just new dad. And yeah, it's fucking crazy, bro. But yeah, we got it done, it's man. Crazy. Thank you for coming up to me. We're That's about an fine, hour away from me. So. Yeah, I've got, got an hour and a half drive back now. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Soz. Yeah, I mean, it's normally you that I has mean, to yeah. get the train. Six three hours, hours yeah. there and back. This means not six hours. Three hours there, three hours back, bruv. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, collectively, yeah. Div. That's six hours. Yeah, not the fucking six hours there and six hours back. <laughs> Ping. Anyway, bye. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs>